Hello guys, it's Aaron here, and today we're back with the dwarves. In the last episode you may remember that we actually left uh, the episode where we couldn't get past a certain fight. <laughs> we're back at this fight now, and hopefully we can actually get past it and move on with the game. That being said, let's continue with the dwarves. The, the rucksack! The artifact! If he wants them so badly, they might be the key to his destruction. There's the orc with the rucksack! Let's get him! Now let's head to this bloody orc and hopefully we can actually kill him first try here. Seems like the game keeps freezing despite me not playing this for a while. I have no idea why it keeps happening. Do what I did last time though, try and block him down this way. I did it straight away! Let's get out of here. Are you actually kidding me? Was it really that damn easy to do? Just knock him on his ass and then do a quick finish sort of thing. Come on, where's your book, dwarf? Seems we he gets here, we can go. How long's that orc stood there for? I'm gonna fight him because I'm actually getting quite scared he's gonna die. I'm gonna control him, sorry, not fight him. Come on, game, what's taking you so long to kill these two dwarf these two orcs? Finally! Man, why did this have so much trouble last time? Retreat? We should fight on! We would die! Perhaps you've noticed that Nodon has risen again, headless. He is more powerful than the Perish Land itself, but the key to his destruction is in here. We will return to the Secondlings and tell them what the Magus is up to. We'll be safe at Ogre's death, and there we can hatch a plan. If we manage to get there, Nodon will do anything to stop us. Then let him try! I feel so mad now. Look, we literally just finished that um, mission straight away. Just no no effort whatsoever. Killed it, then just retreated. Um, that would be the case, wouldn't it? Okay, we're heading to the south now. Looks like it. Yeah, finally heading towards um, Ogre's death. All right, seems like we're heading down this way. <laughs> that was fun. What's next? Boindil looks at you, and the sparkle in his eyes goes out. We are both very sorry about what happened here, Tungil. Borendal's voice echoes through the corridors, which have never been as quiet in the whole of your life. He told me, Synthra said. I convinced myself that... You gulp and turn away from your friends. Oh, what's that sound? Hello. Ah, that's what I call a goodly challenge. Cover me. Not a good idea if you want to go on living, dwarf. You've got quite a big mouth for someone who sounds like a girl. You are Andakai, the tempestuous, right? Correct. And you are Tungdil, Lot Yonan's charge. Honorable Mega. What news of Lot Yonan? Does he live? Andakai looks at you in silence, pain and rage slowly spreading across her face. He is dead, Tungdil, along with Myra, Turga, and Sabora. Nod on killed them all and destroyed the Council of Magi. The certainty of their death is painful. It feels as though someone has just torn your insides out. He killed their best pupils, too. And now he's the unchallenged Magus in Girdleguard. It was you, wasn't it, that attacked them with the lightning? Were you any more successful than we were? Andakai shakes her head. He defied everything I threw at him. All of my skills. In vain. I soon realized he was superior to me, but I wanted to buy you some time. Nodon's Famula said that he had changed the magical fields, but you still seem to be able to use them. 
Andikai smiles. I'm not quite as benevolent as the other magi. My god Samusin is the god of balance. He loves the darkness as much as the light, which means I can use both. But my powers aren't unlimited. It is difficult for me to store and use this altered magic. We should avoid confrontation as much as possible. Your companion, won't he sit with us and introduce himself? Yes! Hey, you up there! Can you even hear us with that bucket on your head? Jerun is mute, and he won't do you any harm unless I command him to. And as long as you treat him with courtesy, dwarf. Boindil seems to briefly weigh up his chances against the two of them. I decide when I'm courteous. Just don't get in my way. And the orcs are mine! Happened? How could he defeat the Council of Magi? Nudin called us to Parista, under the guise of reinforcing the barrier against the perished land. Instead, he tricked us, took control of most of our pals and attacked us. I cut him down with my sword, but he rose again and impaled me with his staff. All I can remember after that is the sound of fighting, destruction, and cries of death. How did you survive? Jerun. Nudin had forgotten he was with me in Parista. He found me, tended to my wounds, and brought me out of the city to safety until I could summon up enough power to heal myself. And Lot Yonan? When Jerun carried me away, he was frozen in stone, like a statue. To my knowledge, the spell cannot be reversed. You nod slowly. You don't have the strength to say anything else right now. What will you do now? Leave this place. I'm not so foolish as to believe that I could restrain the perished land or nod on. Why should I stay here? Foolish, no! <laughs> but cowardly! You're on your way to the Kingdom of the Secondlings, right? Then I will accompany you and leave Girdelgard by the High Pass. We'll need all the help we can get. Nod on will have a lot worse in store for us than just orcs. The Mager nods in agreement. Then she looks pensively at your rucksack. Your rucksack? Why did Nod On want it? I, uh, I don't know. They're, they're only keepsakes from Lot Yonan. Nod On wants to subjugate the whole of Girdelgard, and you're telling me that he's wasting his time on a couple of souvenirs from an old friend? You aren't a very good liar, and the Mager could snatch the rucksack from you at any time and look for herself. You saw how she fought against Nod On, and you can't decipher the books on your own. You decide to at least tell her about them. I... I was taking some objects to Goren, one of Lot Yonan's family. He was murdered at Greenglade by an Alf. There were books lying next to his body which he was planning to send to Turga the Fairfaced. May I see them? You nod. Take the books out of your rucksack and hand them to her. She goes through the letter and the books, one after another without showing any sign of emotion. Finally, she closes the last of the books. Is that all? They are only sagas and travelogues from the Outer Lands, which tell of legendary creatures and myths. I don't know why they should be of interest to nod on. There must be something in them that's important to him. He destroyed a whole village for them, and... and the vaults. Possibly. I'll study the books. But let's sleep now. Jerun can keep watch. We are still being followed. But that mu music that picked up just near the end of that um, little scenario just made me want to play Dragon Age again. Dragon Age in Inquisition, to be more precise. Oh, it's like we've got a little follow part party here now. Oh, that's an orc horde. Should I go and fight it? Screw it. It would seem that one of the armies who've been following you since Lot Yonan's vaults has caught up with you. You can even smell the rancid grease the orcs use on their weapons. Boindil immediately prepares to fight, but Andokai demands you avoid confrontation. Okay, so I guess that's a no then. You have put out a plate of food for the night every evening since Jerun and Andakai joined you on your journey. 
but still none of you have seen him eat. You decide to pay particular attention to him this evening to try and find out what is under the helmet. Andakai is sitting not far from the giant, studying the books. Have you found anything useful yet? She looks up at you. You think I will stay and fight if there is a spell in the books that might defeat Nodon? Yours is the god of balance. Don't you see it as your duty to create a balance between light and dark? Instead of answering, Andakai rubs her eyes and closes the books. It's too dark to study. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Disgruntled, you watch the Mega as she walks over to her bed for the night. Your eyes fall upon Jeroon and the plate at his feet, on which not a crumb of food is left. The path leads you through a ravine, whose steep walls are mainly made up of loose boulders and scree. You could probably cause a rockfall that would block your pursuer's path and obstruct your way back. May as well walk the path, stop this, this horde from following us. It takes longer than you would have liked to trigger a rockfall that is big enough. But when the dust settles, you realize that you have been rewarded for your troubles. The path is blocked. So now at least they're not going to be right in our tail the whole time. Got some sort of chance to make some sort of space against us and them. In the afternoon, with the sun low in the sky, the path leads you through a ravine. A glance at your map suggests that you're near to Boribor, the Orc realm. Fracas, may we remain unscathed. About a mile further on, Boindil suddenly stops in his tracks and sniffs. Can you smell that? Piggy snouts! And lots of them too! Let's proceed with caution. Perhaps we can take a few of them out before they raise the alarm. Okay, hopefully we can get past this just as easy. Hopefully this girl's okay. Where are they though? I can hear them. Up there! We have to stop them before they can warn anyone. Okay, there we go. Feast the extra except the gorge. All heroes must survive. Man, how did this camera angle? Okay, I'm assuming the gorge is down here. I can't really see a damn thing, so I can't assume for can't assume where I'm actually going. I hope, I hope they actually make an update to this somehow though, where it can actually customise the camera the way you like it, because at the minute, as you can see, it's not the best. Well, for you guys it might be easy, but I'm generally struggling to actually handle it. That's everyone, someone's been set on fire. Oh, there's another orc here. Two more orcs. Okay, now they're gone. I hope the actual exit we need to head go to is actually down this way and not just wasting my time. That's a big guy in the back, I just noticed him. I need to start using my skill, my um, ally skills here. Oh, there's another big um, guy in the back now. So this might have been why we failed the first time, simply because I didn't get the opportunity to actually um, 
stop this guy from reporting to wherever he's going to. How am I supposed to do that? This guy's a bloody speed demon. Commands abilities, I need you now. There you go. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, I might not even have to be in this area just yet. I think it might be... Try and head up this way. Okay, no, we just got ourselves surrounded even more. I like the ability, that's actually quite useful. You're gonna die. Hey, how about some help? What a waste of time. And I didn't even take off my glasses. I can't do that yet. And again. My guy just suddenly died. Creature. I didn't hit you very hard. Vile creature. Looking at it, I don't think I actually can use them for my own benefit. Whenever I tried, and never orc just seems to take its place. I can't get that way though, because look at them, they're actually watching that exit. The orcs just keep coming, so as they have to destroy these catapults, I can't actually use them for my own. Which is quite disappointing, because I could easily have taken all these guys out, and there'd be less to worry about. Then I suppose I'd just make it too easy, wouldn't it? What? No one was dead! Try and make a break for the exit, doesn't look like we actually have to kill anyone, just as long as we get there. And there's more guys this way as well. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah, so I definitely have to go through the camp that's uh, killing me just to get here. So either way, it doesn't matter, we're going to alert them anyway. I right, made it, just gotta wait for the other two characters now. Oh, bugged the game there, just went straight through the map. I oh, don't stop the heal. <laughs> as soon as you run here, we can go. There'll be more of them down there. Or maybe we should concentrate on finally getting to Ogre's death stronghold, Pointer. You ignore the offended look on your friend's face and set off, leaving the Orc Mountains behind you. Well, we all got some decent XP at least. But I do greatly apologise if I actually keep running through every single fight without actually fighting, because as you can see, whenever I try, it just get my ass handed to me. But whenever I actually do stuff my way and actually just ignore everyone else and go straight to the point, I get straight to it, and then at, at the same time, we're going to be heavily underleveled if I keep doing that. 
That being said though guys, I'm going to be ending this episode here. If you'd like to see more, please leave a like and share to build a big community. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you so much for watching.